This is the tale of Boudicca, the Iceni warrior queen, one of the most fearsome women there has ever been. She wore colourful clothes and she was tall and strong and loud. She had a mane of long red hair who would spot her in a crowd. She and her husband, the king, ruled a place where Norfolk is today. The king made a deal with the Romans and paid them to stay away. When the king died though, things did not go as planned. The Romans decided to claim all the king's wealth and land. They came and stole from the Britons, who were angry at being cheated. What's more, the, the Romans were violent. The queen and her daughters mistreated. Queen Boudicca was quite outraged. She had never been angrier. She summoned all, the, all of the tribes to a place now called East Alangia. We can't let them do this to us, she said. It isn't right. Let's get an army together and let us give the Romans a fight. So all of the tribe joined forces. They were led by the red-haired queen. It was the biggest army that Britain had ever seen. Boudicca's army marched around and round and they t attacked town after town. Wherever they found Romans lived, they burned their houses down. <laughs> and the Romans were the winners. The Romans were well-trained soldiers and the Britons just beginners. And Boudicca's massive army suffered its final defeat, well beaten by the Romans at the Battle of Watling Street. Yes, Boudicca lost in the end. The Romans won, it's true. But Boudicca had scared them and taught them a lesson or two. Yet they had regret they had crossed her. They paid a price for being mean to the Britons and to the princesses. And the mighty warrior.